Hi guys, welcome back to Wigs with Steph. I got stuff to show you today. This is a wig by Uniwigs. This one in particular is called Georgia. It looks to be a very pretty blonde and I also like how they've put the styrofoam underneath um, and attach the wig to it so that it's actually holding the shape of a head, you could say. So when you take the wig out of the box, it's not gonna be like deformed or anything like that. We are going to put this one on together. So let's just easily take this off. So what we have right away on the inside of this cap is ear tabs. These ear tabs have clips in them that you could use. You could stick them under a wig grip if you're wearing a wig grip. If you're not and you just have hair underneath, you could slide it into your hair if you so chose. They have clips on both sides here. This is just to help secure the wig to your head. This wig also has a band. I love bands. I've used bands so many times on human hair wigs and it is one of my favorite things things to wear because I just find that it just on my face just makes the wig just sit so well so we'll see if it does that with this one but I'm glad to see there's a band here there is also some grippies on it to help any slippage not to happen and then at the nape of the neck we do have a comb you could slide this up into your hair or slide this up underneath a wig grip if you so chose also at the nape of the neck you have adjusters so you just you know take this out and you can put it in any one of these slots to make it tighter or looser depending on the circumference of your head. The cap size of this wig is a 22 inch circumference. My head is a 21. So I'm curious to see how this one is gonna fit. Mind you, I am wearing a wig grip that does add a bit of bulk. So I'm sure it's gonna fit just perfectly fine. We've got some wefting going on at the back here and then we have a lace front. I love that it extends into the ear tabs and it goes about halfway down into the ear Tabs. It means that you can put your hair up and away off your face and it's not going to be too bulky right at the front hairline. And then of course we have the monofilament top. That's this whole portion right here guys. And this is going to be your parting space. So you really do have a large parting space where you can make your part on the left or the right or down the middle and it's going to look like scalp. That's what monofilament does. Oh no way. Okay. This band is actually removable. I like that. Look at that guys. It just slides in and slides out that makes it easy when you have a band in your wig just going to show you in case you don't know you're going to put this around your head at the very nape of your neck right back here under your hair if you have any and then you're going to pull the back down flip this up and then adjust the ear tabs to where you need it to go. It is dimensional. It's not like it's just like one shade, that's it. No, like there is dimension. You have from here to here where you can part the wig. It's as easy as just taking your finger and moving the hair over like so. The length of this hair is said to be 15 inches long. And okay, guys, I just did this like not even thinking about it because these front pieces are so long. I just found myself tucking the hair behind my ear and guess what that means? I'm actually able to get a hair tuck. Like that was so easy. I didn't even have to think about it. I just did it. I can do it on both sides. And I have really small ears and ear tucks are typically kind of difficult for me to do because of my ear size but this just shows you how little density this wig is it's only 110 percent and I believe that because of how easy my little ear can get an ear tuck so I do like that you guys know I always love lower density wigs I just think they look more realistic on myself have a look at this lace front so we have the part here and it goes all the way down to the middle of the ear tab. I hope you can see that. And then I'll show you the other side all the way down to the middle of the ear tab. I feel like it has been plucked slightly. And I also noticed that it doesn't just come, you know, straight down. It starts here, it kind of goes back a little bit and it comes forward. So if you don't have any hair, this does create a realistic hairline in my opinion. It's looking good on my head. I am quite impressed with that. And I do believe this part looks realistic just on its own. Without me touching it, I don't feel like I would have to go in and pluck too much if anything. And I don't feel like anything around here would need to be plucked either. I feel like it's 
thin enough where it still looks realistic. Of course, you always have that option. If you feel like you want a deeper part, like you want more skin showing, then you can just pluck hairs out. And same with the hairline, you can do the exact same thing. You can even mimic your own hairline. And that's what I love about wigs. You can just like change it up. You can just make it suit your own head and what you would typically wear or what you would want it to look like, you can do that for yourself. So now there is something that I wanna show you guys because I got the Uniwigs knot tape. This is for knots that you can see. Apparently you put this under the cap and it's supposed to conceal the knots and make this part look more like a part, which I think it already looks pretty great like a part. So I'm gonna zoom you in quickly so that you can see what it looks like before and then I'll show you the after. And it does come with instructions, so I'm trying to follow the instructions. What it says to do is cut the tape to the appropriate length and trim one side into a circular arc shape. So we have to go like this when we're trimming. Probably gonna put it there, because they say don't bring it right up to the front of the hairline. So I think I'm gonna start it back a little ways and then it's a little bit long, it's actually going into the weft, so I'm gonna cut off a little bit at the back here because it doesn't need to be that long and I don't want it laying over the wefts. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit at the back. Bye-bye. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. So now we're gonna peel off the back. Probably right there. Ooh, this is exciting. I wonder how this is gonna turn out. It looks like this. Let's put it on our head. See if it makes any difference at all. I think it's made it look brighter as a part. As if I don't have dark hair underneath. As if this is just my skin. Okay. So from a distance, it's looking really good. Let's see. Nice, I do actually think that this looks better. So what it looks like to me is you can no longer see my dark hair. So it goes my skin, right there, and then it transitions into this wig tape. And so you can't see my dark hair. It just like goes straight into this part as if it's just skin underneath. I like it. I think I would definitely use this again. The instructions say that you can also take a skin tone concealer to blend the edges of the tape with the hairline on the wig. I feel like I don't need to do that though because I think it just blended so well. But I mean, you could do that if like you put the tape on and you're like, I can kind of see where the tape ends and my skin begins. I think that just looks like skin. You can't see my dark hair at all. I'm gonna have to use this on some of my other wigs where I do have issues with my hair showing. It's the front, and then the left side of Georgia. And then the back. 